from Europe to Libya and gunfire has been heard in the capital Tripoli. Let's bring in Omar Al Salah. Uh, he's there for us. Uh, Omar, uh, tell us what you heard, what's happening. Well, it's been a chaotic hour, Stephen. We heard all sorts of weapons being used from heavy to light, uh, machine guns and clashing calls. Uh, according to eyewitnesses, uh, at near uh, the General National Congress, a large force, a convoy of uh, vehicles with heavy machine guns stormed the General National Congress. There were few uh, cars set, set on fire. There was heavy fighting. Other rebels that were meant to protect the, uh, the building came to support the people trapped inside. Very chaotic uh, situation indeed. According to the Libyan uh, news uh, agency, they do believe that the attacking force belongs to a brigade that is already integrated in the Libyan security forces and it reports back to the militias or to the people of Zintan. It's a very powerful militia that is based here in Tripoli, Stephen. Omar, stay with us because we want to talk a little now about what is happening in the eastern city of Benghazi. And that's where the Libyan army has imposed a no-fly zone. 79 people have been killed in fighting over this weekend, and the army has now imposed that no-fly zone right over the city. And it's because of this man, retired General Khalifa Haftar, who led the attack against militias uh, in Benghazi on Friday. He sees himself as the chief of the self-proclaimed National Armed Forces. After it has the support of some officers and army units, he says he's trying to purge the city of what he calls terrorist groups. He says the central government has lost control of former rebels who took part in the 2011 revolution that led to the overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi. The central government uh, in Tripoli uh, says his actions amount to a coup. Let's go back to Omar al Salah. Uh, and uh, Omar, uh, let's talk about General Hefter. Uh, how serious is this move by him? Well, when you speak to Libyan uh, officials here in Tripoli, they take him very seriously and they say his actions uh, are actually uh, a coup against the legitimate uh, elected body, that is the General National Congress, and also the legitimacy of the revolution that toppled Colonel Gaddafi. They called on the forces that are loyal to the government and the former rebels in Benghazi to protect Benghazi from the Haftar uh, forces. However, the retired general General did hold a press conference in which he said he had to act to protect Libya. Today, the battle that our national army had to launch to defend our nation, the people, and the lives of our officers that are being assassinated. This is not a coup against the state, and we are not seeking power or authority. We are not hindering the course of democracy. The blood of Libyans is sacred, and we didn't want Libyans to resort to arms. But terrorism and its servants wanted it to be a battle, so let it be an honorable one. A spokesperson for General Haftar told Al Jazeera that the attack in Tripoli is directly linked to the events in Benghazi. Now, from what we understand from the spokesperson and previous statement by General Haftar, he declared an open war against what he called illegitimate uh, General National Congress. So we do expect there will be some developments in the days or even in the hours that come in the next few hours or few days that will come. And as they do, we'll bring them to you. Um, Omar Al-Salah in Tripoli, thank you.